Okay, let's do these quick then. So 0, 1, 1, 0. The question is, what is that value in hexadecimal? Remember, one nibble is worth one hexadecimal digit. So we can go 1, 2, 4, 8. You're welcome to go along with me, but if not, pause now, please. Okay, I write down all the values underneath it. It's 4 plus 2, so in hex it would be just 6. Let's do the next value. Same deal again, it's just a nibble. So 1, 2, 4, 8. Pause and give it a go. Okay, I write it down in here. And it will be 8 plus 4 is 12. And remember, we don't want to write down 12 because 12 is actually A is 10, B is 11, C is 12. So the answer is C. Okay, let's do these next ones. Now, do you remember the trick? The trick was you have to split it. You have to split that one and that one into two separate nibbles. So we can do a nibble on the right. Nibble on the left. Pause, give it a try. Okay. On the left, it's 1 8. You can see it's 1 8, 1 2. So that's going to give us 10. On the right, we can see it's 1 8 and 1 4. So that's 12 plus 1 is 13. But remember, we can't do 10 and 13 in hex. So actually, 10 becomes A, and 13 becomes, well, A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13. So the actual answer in hex would be A, D. Let's do the last one. Again, remember, you're going to split it one half and one half. And you do the same one. Whoops. We do the grid. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. Pause. Give it a try. Okay, I'm going to write these ones in. Four and two on the left is going to give me six. Eight plus two plus one is going to give me eleven. But remember, 11 is not OK. A is 10, so B is 11. So the next answer is 6B. 13 into, from a hexadecimal value. OK, now we're doing the final one, which is converting from a hexadecimal value uh, into binary. Remember, each hexadecimal digit is worth four bits. So if we're looking at 4F here, we say, uh, I'm going to draw this grid out here. So uh, same as before, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. Effectively, that 4 is going to go here, and that F is going to go on this one here. So we can say 4 is going to be 0 lots of 1, 1 lot of 4, like that. The F, well, the F is 15. So that's 1, 1, 1, 1. So what's the answer in binary? It's 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. That's one uh, whole expression. And then ED, remember again, you would just split it in two. So 8, whoops, that's a bad 8. 8, 4, Two, one, eight, four, two, one. Why don't you give it a go now? Pause, please. Okay, I'm going to work it through now. So the first question is E. E is going to be 14. So one lot of eight. 14 take away eight, 14 take away eight leaves us with six. So four, six take away four leaves us with two, two, and zero. D, or D is uh, 13, so that's one lot of 8, leaves us with 5, 1, 0, 1, 
what's the answer? The answer is 11101101. To finish this off, um, I'd just like you to uh, work on these three yourself. So the first lot of questions are from binary to hex. So remember, write the nibbles down. First nibble, uh, second nibble. Well, in fact, actually, I think I'm one short here. My apologies. So we just write in an extra uh, zero here at the end. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. And then uh, work through the rest of them. And then finally, it's um, hexadecimal. How do you convert those to binary? Give it a go.